All right, tree eagles, what's that then? So it's here, it's now, it's game day. Yeah! Yeah! Oh, fucking in the ball! Eagles, what's happening? Lowest ranked team, that could only mean one thing. Number 11. Chelsea, the holders are at home. <laughs> yeah, boy. Number 5. And Chelsea will be at home to Sheffield Wednesday or Luton. Fuck's sake. Number 10. Newcastle or Blackburn? Oh, go on in. To 23. Number 23, that is Watford. Oh, for fuck's sake. Number 20. Manchester City are at home. Yes, that'll do nicely. Number 24. Burnley, an all Premier League tie. Oh, for fuck's sake. Number 26. Number 26 is Barnet. <laughs> So the non-league side are at home and there are big teams left in here. A bit of a bit sick, really. Uh, not nerves, um, excitement, really. Not sexual. Number four. And Barnet will be at home to Brentford. Number 19. Number 19. Arsenal are at home. Number six. And Arsenal are at home to Manchester United. For fuck's sake! Number 12. Crystal Palace. Number eight. At home to Tottenham Hotspur. Oh, <laughs> are you taking the fucking piss? Why do the FA hate us? I mean, really? Fine. It's here, it's now, it's game day. We're home for this one. We're off to the hive. It's the fourth round of the FA Cup. It's the real bees of Barnet, the fake bees of Brentford. So there's already been a few giant killings in this round. So it'd be rude not to keep up the tradition. Anyway, that's another chat, bollocks. Let's get into the football, no! So Brentford finished ninth last season in the championship, where they played 46, they won 18, they drew 15, they lost 13, scoring 62, conceding 52, giving them a goal difference of plus 10, and they ended on 69. Giggity, giggity. Giggity goo. Points. They currently sit 18th in the championship, where they've currently played 28 times. They've won 8, they've drew 10, they've lost 10, they've scored 43, conceding 39, giving them a goal difference of plus 4, and they're currently on 34 points. And their last 5 games have been 3 wins and 2 draws, and they're currently unbeaten in their last 7. <laughs> Thomas Frank is the gaffer over in the land of the fake bees, and he's only taken 17 games since being put in charge, where he's won five, he's drew four, and he's lost eight, giving him a win percentage of 29.41. Number nine, Neil Manpay, who has 16 goals with six assists in 26 games. And number 21, Saeed Ben Rama, who leads away with most assists with seven and three goals in 24 games. Back in December 2011, a semi-final in the Johnson Paint Trophy. Game ended nil-nil, but we managed to win 5-3 on penalties. So with that all being said, say it with me. Let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get the win and get into the next round of the cup. And then let's get the fuck out of town. Fuck you, Brentford. Giving it the big one that you're the real bees. When have you ever seen a red and white bee? What'd you do? Grab a bunch of them, stick them under a light, give them sunburn and go, yeah, nah, we're the bees. Who does that, you bunch of weird psychopaths? You bunch of wankers. Come! Come on, Barnet! Starting 11 for Barnet today in the 4-2-3-1. Making his debut on loan from Leeds is Will Huffer in goal. Shay Alexander as your right back. David Zatonda as your left back. Dan Sweeney and Elliot Johnson going out as your two centre-halves. Two in the middle today is Captain Craig Robson and Wesley Fongook. The three in the advanced midfield role. Mason Clark on the wide right. Medi Alito on the wide left. And Jack Taylor in the advanced playmaker role. And Shaq Corfus up front on his own. And this is our Brentford lineup for today. Almost 10 minutes in, it's still 0-0. But Brentford just hit the post from a corner. Very 
very fast paced. Both teams going for it. That's a massive let off there. We knew nothing about that. Currently 20 in, still nil nil. Last 10, Brentford have controlled a lot of the play. They're very fast on the account attack, pinning us back into our own half. 22 in, and absolutely wow. I do not know how we're not a goal behind. Number two, they had a brilliant shot just outside the edge of the arrows. Keepers beat all day long. Hit the post, rolled along the goal line. That's an easy tap up if anyone's following in. Another let off for us. Heart was in me, man. That's Sweeney's head. There is! Go! 25 in, still nil nil. But wow, Freddy Lito with spawning from a corner. Dan Sweeney gets up, bang! Brilliant header. The keeper was great to it and they cleared away for another corner. Didn't come to nothing after that. First chance for us, five to the half, and it's Barnet nil, it's Brentford one. Just about to say, it's taking us a good half hour to get into the game, but we were doing really well. And then they just have a shot literally out of nowhere, 20, 25 yards. It's gone in. We're looking around thinking, how's the keeper not saved that? Maybe we should have closed it down quicker though. Well, one nil down. About two minutes to the half break away from us. Shaq flicks on, chasing it down one on one. It gets tackled. Mason Clark comes in, he gets taken there, plays it off to Jack Taylor. Jack Taylor slices the shot wide. Half time here at the Hive and it's Barnet to just nil. It's Brentford one. First 30 minutes we were pretty much hanging in there, but then we grew into the game, got a foot on the ball, and we started playing some really nice football. Brentford had two great opportunities where they hit the post. Sweeney's been excellent in his first half, making last minute interceptions and saving us at the death. Shea as well. But number two for Brentford's been their best player. He's just got so much space all the time. It's been a good battle by both sides. They look good going forward, but at the back they look shaky and they can't handle our pace with Mason Clark, Alito, and Shaq's run. At them. A little bit of luck to go our way, and we're back in this game. Come on, Barnett. If we lose, I didn't want to go to Wales anyway. Fuck Swansea. Yeah! 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 We're back in the game. The magic of the cup is alive. 50 minutes in, it's Barnett 1, it's Brentford 1. Jack Taylor plays in a lovely ball over the top to Mason Clark. He takes on two players, he cuts it in. Shaq knocks it home to make it 1-1. One, one. I'm sitting with a Brentford fan. Matt, what do you think of that? Brilliant. <laughs> Three minutes later, we're 2 1 up. Shaq's done it again. So many bodies in the box there. It's a mix up. We're trying to shoot. Brentford are diving on the ball to get rid of it. He somehow fumbled. Shaq on his own. Unmarked. Slots it into the bottom corner. I'll leave Matt alone for this one. Almost 60 minutes in, and Brentford have just been given a penalty. Too far away. So many bodies to see if it was. Equaliser, he put it low to his left, sent the keeper the wrong way. Barnet 2, Brentford 2. 20 minutes to go, it's Barnet 2, it's Brentford 3. Brilliant counter attack by Brentford. We get a free kick, whips up, we lose it. That was one of the best counter attacks I've ever seen. About three, four passes, and it's come from our left hand side where that number two has practically had all the space in the world. It's a great goal. 3 2 to Brentford with about 20 minutes to play. Take a bow, son. I mean that. Take a bow. It's 3-3! Free, free. What a fucking game this is! I've already lost my voice. My heart can't take no more. 15 minutes to go. It's Barnet 3. It's Brentford 3. Dan Smart. Free kick. Just outside the area. Whips over the wall. Hits the bar. Bounces in. My God, what's a game of football. This half has been end to end. We have a go, they have a go. We have a go, they have a go. Fucking hell. The neutrals are loving this. My heart can't take it. Matt. What a game of football. Absolutely brilliant. We're into the last 10 and it's still 3-3. Three, three. We've had a massive let off here. Brentford with the ball in. Ben Rames unmarked. He fumbles the ball. It lands to another Brentford player. He just has a shot and he goes for a corner. They whip it in again. It's bouncing around the body. He hits his own player and goes wide. Less than five minutes to go of normal time. It's still 3-3. Three, three. Brentford have hit the post again. I need a new change of pan. We're into the 90th and they just added on five minutes. It's still 3-3. Three, three. <laughs> So the game finished, Barnet 3, Brentford 3. Who says they hate Mondays? Barnet FC must be known as Bipolar FC. Turn up and do Sheffield United over on their own turf. Lose to Braintree away, 4-0 who are bottom of the league. And draw 3-3 last night against championship side Brentford. But I wouldn't change it for the world. Brentford's attack was so fast, they just wanted to kill the game off nice and early and sit back and relax. But we matched them at the back, we cleaned up everything. Yeah, all right, we got a bit of luck, but still, never mind. But going forward, Brentford couldn't handle our pace. 
And that's the only way they was going to beat us from long distance because it was so packed and congested that they couldn't break us down when they was getting close to the box. So we go in at half time 1 0 down. But that second half, wow. Blink and you risk missing what was an unbelievable 45 minutes of football. And before you know it, we've gone 2 1 up. Shaq scored two goals in the space of three minutes in the second half. Lovely movement from us to get us back in the game. Now I've watched the penalty decision back. Now I have to say that it was a penalty. Watch the clip and you'll see the tackle. Wow, you cheating bastard. You had to dive in the box because you couldn't face little old Barnet embarrassing you, knocking you out of the cup. You are an embarrassment to the game. How are you going to dive with all the cameras around knowing that it's never going to show you up to be an absolute fucking cheat? So unfortunately, they've scored from the penalty that should never have been given and it's 2-2. But Brentford's third goal to take the lead was just a masterclass of movement. You have to give them that. The quick one-two passes and their counter-attack, we couldn't handle it. It just blew us away. It was great build-up play for the goal and we're sitting they're absolutely gutted. What more can you say? One minute you're leading 2-1. A dodgy decision goes against you. It's 2-2. You know you're 3-2 down and you're thinking, oh, here we go. 15 minutes left of the dream and that's it. X Factor, play the clip of all our best bits before we get carted off and never to be seen ever again. Then up steps Dan Sparks to make it 3-3 with a free kick from out of nowhere. And not all heroes wear capes. What an absolute night that was. What a game. But we've got to do it all again in the replay next Tuesday. So it's still up for grabs. It's still all to play for. Boys have done us proud yet again. All of them are heroes. Next up is the FA Trophy away to Carl Schulten Athletic. So make sure you do the usual crap like, subscribe, share and all that bollocks. So until next time, I'll see you later.